and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Today, we're talking about possible changes in the structure of the new government. The transformation of government is part of a reform of public administration that has been actively operated in Ukraine since 2016. The question is how to build a successful government. To answer this question, we're joined in the studio today by Ivan Kilobok. He's the team lead for public administration reform at Reforms Delivery Office of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Hello for inviting. So you have written uh, an article that is called The New Government. The main thing is the quality of work, not the number of ministries. And currently in Ukraine, we have about 70 executive authorities, including 19 ministries, 20 services, 14 agencies and four inspections. Is this enough? Uh, I think the key question is uh, government efficiency and effectiveness, so-called mm -hmm. quality. So mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the uh, answer is the number of uh, government bodies, but the key element is the proper distribution of functions and responsibilities uh, mm -hmm. between those bodies. Uh, average number of ministries, for example, in the European Union is 15, but still there are governments that perform effectively with the number of uh, 11 ministries like Sweden. But for example, in UK, in Poland, there are a lot of uh, 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 around 19 uh, or even 20 ministries uh, in place. So it's mostly about the, the composition of cabinet of ministers is, of course, mostly political uh, question. Mm -hmm. But there are some uh, so-called world known uh, global practices principles based on which this government uh, are uh, structured uh, and the uh, power are distributed. Mm -hmm. Well, you also said that uh, the number of ministries I is not as important as the fact or at the level to which it fits the objective of the country. So yes. what's Ukraine's objective currently at this moment that the ministries have to meet? Yeah, so one uh, issue is that uh, with, uh, uh, in any country with a new government uh, came in power, being a uh, political party president, they usually present their political uh, agenda. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently, as new uh, Verkhovna Rada is not officially started in, in operation, we don't know so many government priorities. Mm -hmm. But from another point of view, we have a starting long-term fundamental changes and fundamental reforms like decentralization reform, health reform, education reform, and of course th this should be um, continued. With could be, it could be minor changes, but the reforming of these areas should be on agenda of, of a new government, meaning that in a new government responsible ministries and responsible ministers should be in place and uh, with very clear mandate, very clear, clear functions, also to ensure accountability and transparency for the citizens and for uh, politicals. Well, the new government has already voiced um, future plans to reduce the number of ministries. Uh, however, none of the members of the government have mentioned, uh, has mentioned how many ministries would there be left. In your opinion, would we be okay with just 11 ministries, as you just mentioned, one of the Europeans, European countries has, or should we have more, and which ministries, in your opinion, should stay in place? Uh, okay, so I think we, we are on an expert opinion. Uh, we Ukraine needs around between 14 and 16 uh, ministries. Mm -hmm. It's uh, also depending uh, on um, priorities, and also, usually in all, in all countries, it's also the government structure depends on personality. So mm -hmm. it dep depends how many ministers are in place, ready to work, and on how they, they could form a good team. Because one of the main principles to work to effective to increase the effectiveness of government is that the cabinet works as, as one team, as not a standalone ministers each of uh, whom has their own agenda and sometimes fight <laughs> inside the mm -hmm, cabinet of ministers. Mm -hmm. And another aspect, it's very important that the cabinet and parliament work very closely together on a reform agenda, on a policy making and a law making. So we see that there should be three big blocks as 
as mostly uh, countries have. So it's a social uh, economic uh, development mm -hmm. or economic development block. It is um, so-called social and humanitarian block, and it is public order and and uh, defense. Mm -hmm. Of course, such a key ministries like Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Education, Health, Environment Protections or sh should stay. This is a common practice, and it also uh, implies on a uh, unified or uh, commonly agreed um, responsibility areas of any government. So despite specific political agenda or specific political party come into force, there are three main blocks that government are working on. It's a welfare, health, and uh, safety. Mm -hmm. So and so meaning that uh, environmental protection, health, um, healthcare ministry, uh, social ministry. So all these should stay. What could be played? It's uh, or newly formed. It is for very important uh, agenda or very new agenda. For example, uh, digitalization of mm -hmm. of all public administration and uh, shifting towards more digital economy. It seems to be a priority for the new mm -hmm. uh, government. Mm -hmm. So. It is possible mm -hmm. that we either uh, there should be one member of cabinet, could be minister or vice prime minister, that will drive this agenda. Also, important areas, as I said, decentralization. I assume land uh, market reform uh, is uh, critical for our country and for economic development. But in terms of ministers and ministries, there are some options. For example, we could have Ministry of Agriculture who would drive the land market agenda. But it also could be shift to Minister of Economy, for example, as considering land as one of economic resources, as so many as it, others. So it's like we had the Ministry of Sports and Youth, and you think that this is an effective formula when those two and several subjects are united under one roof of one, one uh, ministry? We believe, uh, based on mm -hmm. this principle, that there could be a merge of at least three ministries, Ministry of Culture, Ministry of Youth and Sport, and Ministry of Information Policy. Mm -hmm. So-called, it could be Ministry of Humanitarian uh, Policy that could, could cover all these important policy areas or areas of responsibilities to, to have a unified view and unified policy agenda on that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, <clears throat> as the elections results show, the majority of citizens of Ukraine are looking forward to reorganization in the government structure of Ukraine. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. That was Ivan Kilobok. He's a team lead for public administration reform at Reform's Delivery Office of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching UATV. Stay tuned for the rest. Yeah.